Celtic is in the water. Thanks, I needed that. This is not a true story. Except for all the facts. America at a crossroads. A presidential election looms as Black Lives Matter protests around the country cry out for justice. You're watching the nightly news, and tonight we have a special report from the ground at one of those protests. Terrence, over to you. I'm Terrence Williams on the field. I'm here with Grace Anderson and Ashley Porter, two friends who told me they joined the, the protest this evening. Grace, Grace, what do you hope to achieve by being part of this? We want social justice. We want equity. There's oppression. There's inequality. We've got an orange man tweeting out of his ass. Terrence, I think the question that everyone wants to know is, how are they all feeling? No justice, no peace. Chris, one final question. Just how are you feeling? How are we feeling? What kind of question is that? We're outraged. We want change. We want our voices heard. Nazis run the Rachel, there, there appears to be a fight just brewing over to the right here. Rachel? Cut away from Terrence. Rachel? Cut away from Terrence. Thank you, Terrence. Well, as you can see, there is some understandable passion, but these are mostly peaceful protests that show signs of hope and change for America. Up next, you won't believe what Donald Trump just tweeted. I'm gonna trend. Let me see. This is the police. This is an unlawful assembly. Please disperse. You can't post that video, Grace. Why not? Because it'll make the protests look bad. But everybody hates Trump supporters. It's like justice. Well, yeah, but it's bad optics. Look, most people are too ignorant to understand complex moral issues. You have to withhold some things for their own good. We choose truth over facts. I suppose you're right. I've got to get to work. I'll call you later. Have a safe flight. Thanks. And Grace, we're on the right side of history. Right side of history. Damn. I love that video, though. I'm gonna be sad. The music sounds like I'm not 
time. To fucking party! Don't judge me. I'm doing this to pay off my college debt. not been here before. I'm Lorenzo. My pronouns are he, him to you, but she, her to your sister, and that way everyone's happy, aren't they? <laughs> I have a very special treat for you all tonight. We have a new star right here in the red box. Please, everyone, give a very, very warm welcome to Kitty. Good news, though. We're going to have to move the party somewhere a little bit more private, but you're all invited. Lorenzo will give you the details. Yeah! Let's do this! Let's do this. The town builder, she died in the next bungalow. That's so sad. Who's John Belushi? He was a comedian. He had some demons. Drink? Mm-hmm.
you freeloading fuckers! Out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Go! Get out! drive. Why would you say that? Do you know who I am? Not really. They told me you were VIP, well connected to the government. Yeah, well, my father, everything he built, his life, dreams and ambitions, I just fucking ruined it all. Sorry for putting you through the <coughs> shit. You do not deserve it. I've been through worse. You are beautiful. Doesn't matter what you've done. I didn't do anything wrong. It's my privacy that's being violated. I have happened to you? <coughs> Sometimes. Pictures. Your family find out your mom, your dad? I don't give a shit about my dad. Oh. That's sad. <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> 
You got any brothers and sisters? I wish I did, but no. You? My sister and my mommy died in a car accident when I was little. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just remember this hand in the hospital. It was my brother's hand. He was four years old. He was holding my hand. He was just going, I love you. I love you. I love you. And then it was just me, <clears throat> Bo, and Dad against everything, against the world. Is it hard growing up without your mom? Well, I didn't get a choice. Dad remarried. She's my mom, not my mommy. Yeah. And then every year after the crash, we go to this tiny little house in Nantucket, Sconset Beach, just the family, immediate family, nobody else. And it's the only time I feel like, um, <laughs> it's the only time I feel like um, not throwing myself off a cliff. <laughs> it's not the same though since my brother died. When did he die? Four years ago, brain tumor. I'm so sorry. It's horrible. the good one he was uh <laughs> he was my best friend we did everything together uh, it was like the conscience and the of the family in it and after 9 11 he, he joined the national guard and then he was an attorney general and every single person thought he was going to be the president of the united states one day everybody <clears throat> and now i'm all dad has left from mommy And I just want to make him proud. I just, I, I want to make him proud. Oh, bingo. Fuck. <coughs> so. I'm the one. I am the one who brings in all the deals. I am the one. I'm the one that provides everybody a future in this family. Aunts, uncles, they have futures because of me. <clears throat> so what happened? <clears throat> I'm a drug addict. <clears throat> Ever tried rehab? No, it doesn't work on me. Tried five, six times, doesn't work. Isn't that like the first step to recovery? Admitting your mistakes? I did join the, the Naval Reserve. But I was thrown out on my first day for having too much cocaine in my blood. I fucked up. Do you want to hear about another fuck up? I do. After my brother died. Most enormous bender you could possibly imagine. And I divorce my wife and then I fall in love with his wife his wife how does that happen well no no it wasn't planned it was the grief you know grief brings you together and she was the only one who knew what I was going through so we just kind of <laughs> everything in life happens for a reason no i believe shit happens and we make our own destiny <laughs> what's so funny uh, 
my brother would never have fucked my wife. Let's go for a walk. It would be nice if you told me where we're going. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm not entirely sure yet. Look, so you don't live up to your parents' image of perfection. Who does? I sure as hell don't. I hate my father. He's a self-righteous, judgmental prick. He's everything that's wrong in this country. If he doesn't like me, that's his problem. Is he rich and powerful? Worse. He's a lawyer. Oh, God. You know, just because you don't live up to your father's image of perfection doesn't mean you have to be so self-destructive. What I told you before, he's just a ship before the storm. It's the coming hurricane I can't tell you about. How did you get in here? Tyrone! Don't worry, honey. I know these guys. We're gonna need you to come with us, sir. You just give me a little minute to freshen up and I'll be right with you. Like father, like son. You wait in the bungalow. I'll be right back. It's the hurricane. Breaking my heart, son. Holy shit. My life just got a whole lot more interesting. But since I was a young boy, I wanted to be president of the United States. It's my fourth time running for the office. I spent 120 years in the Senate, a bunch of years as vice president. I'm tired. It's my last chance. I tried to help you your entire life, covered for your weaknesses. And somehow now, at the climax of my campaign, at the worst possible moment, of my most important year, how the fuck did your laptop end up at the FBI? I thought they'd refuse to accept it. It's all worked out for now, but if this blows up, they may change their minds. So tell me, how a goddamn repair shop got your laptop and brought it to the FBI. I got water damage. I took it to be fixed. Water damage? What, were you swimming with it? I forgot to pick it up. Forgot to pick it up? I was so busy with your campaign. Oh, come on, man. I mean, what kind of a moron forgets to pick up his laptop at a repair shop? 
Were you high or drunk? No, Dad, I'm sober. Bullshit. Look, I, I didn't know they could take the date off the drive. I thought I had a right to privacy. Well, then tell me, according to the contract that you signed with this repair shop, they legally own the hard drive because you forgot to pick it up after 90 days. Actually, it's, um... It's two laptops. Two? I wish I could help you, son. I just wish I could... smack some sense into you. I can't seem to find anything but positive stuff on the Bidens. That's because you're using Google and the mainstream media. You have to use the alternative search engine. Hmm. Here, let me show you. You sound like an alt-right white supremacist. Yeah, Kitty. I'm the blackface of white supremacy. What about these uh, pictures of your niece? She's my niece. What am I not allowed to have pictures of my family members? Family members? Come on, I'm not even going to get into it with you on that. Kathleen doesn't even want you around your own kids because you're you're watching porn and, and taking drugs all day. Kathleen is like one of those idiots on the internet who thinks I try to murder people in Ukraine. Oh, God damn it, hon. Come on. We're living in a world of that, uh, that thing. What do they call it? Uh, I'm with her. Me too. Oh, yeah. They're already on for that terrorine. She was one, uh, one sweet-smelling young lady. You have eight women with claims against you, Dad. Lying, dog-faced pony soldiers. 
I don't even remember those girls. How do you know those girls? Our line is just that you're old school and you need to respect people's boundaries, love. <sighs> you know, Biden's uh, affectionate. You need to be more careful to that. Oh, come on. I could be out in the middle of Fifth Avenue with Tara Reid and the media would still be talking about Trump's grabbing pussy. What about your affairs? I'm cheating on your wife with Haley is already old news, and we've survived that. Anyone else? <sighs> Haley's sister. When? When I was with Haley. You fuck Poe's widow and her sister at the same time? Jesus Christ, Hunter! You know what I... I think of your brother, his character, his integrity. You dishonor his memory. I know. I mean, I mean, Bo wouldn't make porno videos with hookers and crack pipes. No, he wouldn't. And he, he wouldn't disgrace women, goddammit. It should have been me that got cancer. <laughs> come on now, don't say that. Or died in the crash with mommy. Oh, come on, man, stop No, I did Stop didn't. it. Bidens don't wallow in self-pity. I suffered a hell of a lot more than you ever will. I marched in the civil rights movement. I, I attended a black college. I was arrested with Nelson Mandela. I'll never forget Corn Pop. Huh. He was a bad dude. No joke. He wouldn't wear a bathing cap in the pool, so I... <laughs> I faced him down with a six-foot chain. Dad. Huh? What? We were talking about suffering. No. Look, here's the deal. Do you see me wallowing in self-pity? Crying over spilled butter? Oh. Okay, I'd, come on. I need you to keep it together. At least until I get elected. What about drugs? Any pictures of you taking drugs? No. I've been clean for months. Okay. So, what do you think Hunter was referring to when he said he may have just ruined his father's life? Good evening, New York. Good evening, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum in New York, and this is the story tonight. A Fox News alert with some brand new developments. A senior federal law enforcement official telling Fox News that the FBI does have Hunter Biden's laptop. No, I saw CNN dismiss this. They said it was Russian disinformation. And not part of a Russian disinformation campaign. We're also told that the contents may not have been looked at right away. <laughs> as we try to fill in the blanks. So okay. What about our Ukraine-China deals? You don't keep those documents on there, do you? Emails. Emails? How many? Everything. The email app stores everything you send, everything you receive stores. You know, don't you don't you take them and, 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 and put them in the you know, take them out and put them in, in the in the trash? What do you mean delete? Yeah, but they're still available. Well if you delete them, how could they still be available? I mean that doesn't make a lick of sense. I mean you can delete them your end, but other people may keep them their end. Other people? What other people? Dad, I did a lot of deals with foreign agents and governments. Look, did you at least keep to our agreement about the thing? Yeah, you're 10%. Yeah. No, 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 the thing. 50-50 splits, yes. God damn it, no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the foreigners. I, I, I know they know, they, they know, um, you know, you know, they know my name. Yeah, right, no, no, no. So we never used your name explicitly in any correspondence relating to our business deals, only face-to-face -face like we agreed. In emails, I use words like my guy or my chairman or the big guy. Good. I like that. The big guy. Look, we signed NDAs so I could go to prison for what I'm about to tell you. I could even get canceled. But I'm just a fictional character, so screw it. 
What's happening in there? Joe's in on it. I've never discussed businesses with my son and my brother. As a matter of fact, anyone else. Period. As Joe would say, that's a bologna sandwich. Case in point, Ukraine. It's a country that shares its eastern border with Russia. And that eastern territory is rich in fossil fuels. So Russia wants it badly. Our story starts in the early 2000s under the regime of corrupt Ukrainian president, Viktor Yanukovych. That's Mykola Sochevsky, a Ukrainian oligarch and longtime recipient of Yanukovych's governmental favors. Zlovchesky would have $23 million of his assets frozen by the UK for money laundering, embezzlement, and bribery. You like that? Rock with that. They killing my feet. I created an energy holding company called Burisma Holdings. I'll be the largest natural gas producer in Ukraine. I will expect some gratitude. Don't worry, boss. You'll get your cut. And how are you going to clean the money? Through my bank. That's Ivan Dolorevsky. And Burisma will be an offshore company, boss man. Another corrupt oligarch well known for his peculiar business tactics. <laughs> He was banned from entering the United States. The revolution is about to begin any day now. I'm getting the hell out of here before they hang me. Where will you go? Where do you think? Moskva. Russia is invading eastern Ukraine. Perfect. Boris's main assets are there. We'll be able to drill our asses off for natural gas without any penalty. No one will stop us. Never waste a good crisis. Don't forget my cut. Kima, you got to Vlad, please. Хорошо. We need you as support and cover. Who's the point man for the foreign policy in the Obama regime? Joe Biden. I know just the man we need to join the board of Burisma. I believe that my assistance in consulting with Burisma over matters of transparency, corporate governance, and responsibility will benefit both the economy and the people of Ukraine! Hunter had no experience with Ukraine. He had no experience with the energy sector or with their law. So why do you think Burisma hired him? Oh, good job, guys. Good job. So it looks like you need a billion dollars to fix your energy program, hmm? Look, here's the deal. You behave yourself. I think I can get my family to help you out. anything on your computer about our quid pro quo with Ukraine, we're going to have to run defense. Okay? So walk me through what might be on that damn laptop of yours. 
out of your Ukraine thing. Is that illegal? Using political office to benefit your family is called influence peddling. But if you do it through enough back channels, they can't touch you directly. You gotta follow the money. But first, you have to follow the influence. Tell you what's going down. Devin Archer is telling Joe Biden he just joined the board of the Ukraine energy company Burisma. At the same time, VP Joe is the point man for President Obama in the Ukraine. So the obvious next question is Where's Hunter? Okay, maybe it didn't happen exactly like this, but metaphorically speaking. Hunter never actually went to Ukraine during all this, but don't let that fool you. Three weeks later, he was appointed to the board of Burisma. Like my dad says, we never discuss my businesses, period. My word is a Biden. And you can trust them. They never discuss their business around the world. Or my cut. money did you get out of Burisma? Yeah, we talked about this $83,000 a month each. No, we didn't talk about this. I remember $83,000. You forget eighty, eighty-five, or even $90,000. But $83,000, that's, that's a weird number. I wouldn't forget $83,000. You understand me, son? I understand you, Dad. When we did the deal, Devin Archer and I got paid through the Shell Company, $3.4 million total. What about Devin? I mean, can we trust him? He's, uh, he's not family. And you discussed it with him yourself when he visited you at the White House. Yeah. Sure as hell better still have my split. I do. Come on, man. You'll get your money, I promise. Hey, hey, don't give me the come on, because if you don't have it, I'm going to take you outside. You beat the living hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad. What about Hunter's business partner? Devin Archer? Yeah. Follow the money. Hunter! Why did your dad's administration ponies arrest me? Try to put me in a jail. I just don't get it, man. Why would they try to ruin my family? Hunt, they want to destroy my kids, man. And no one from your family side steps in. Just, just, just try at least to help me. I don't get it. A bunch of these Asians, they get in my head, asking me the same. I'm curious. What should I say? Every great family in the United States is persecuted. You, you are part of a great family, not a sideshow, not someone to be abandoned in your darkest moments. The Bidens are different than your Biden. It's the price we pay for power. And the truth will prevail if you have the guts, the stamina, and enough love to stay the course. Understood? Understood, yeah, thanks. Good. Devin Archer was sentenced to one year in prison. Turns out Devin got convicted for conspiracy to commit security fraud against the Native American tribe of, of the Oglala Sioux Nation. But he claims he's not a racist. And where's Hunter?
don't know anything about that deal. <sighs> My word is Biden. What about your company's work with Anna Katarina, a Russian tied to organized crime? This does not ring any bells. Hello? How are you doing? No. Oh, wait! Wait! Hello? Hunter, darling. Hey, baby. I have the money I promise. I will wire you $3.5 million. some money, but I can't remember what for. I can't remember what we did with it. Consulting. Yeah. Consulting. Consulting. So, Devin got caught for securities fraud. Zlochevsky got charged for money laundering. And Dolorovsky got caught for embezzling the 1.8 billion. And Hunter worked with all of them at Burisma. Then the Ukrainian Justice Department was going to investigate Burisma until guess who intervened? Don't worry, Dad, you have plausible deniability for most things except the video. What video? The one when you said you'd get rid of the prosecutor who was investigating me. Malark. That's a baloney sandwich. <laughs> I'm not going to her. We're not going to give you the billion dollars. I looked at them and I said, I'm leaving here in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Son of a bitch. He got fired. That's the angle, that's the way, that's the way how we play. I don't care on my shit. I be smoking up a J. I'ma blow a couple holes, then I'm cutting off my hose. That's the angle, that's the way, that's the how we play. Quid pro quo with Ukraine. Brilliant strategy. Then accused Trump of making a phone call doing the exact same thing they were doing. Oh, and guess what happened to that one billion dollar loan to Ukraine? General, $1.8 billion. Distribute how you see fit. After you lifted the travel ban at Dolores V, our ambassador to Ukraine asked me to be put on a do not prosecute list. Do you remember our ambassador, Ivanovich? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. But she had a different smell, that one. But she helped us out a lot. Hello? Hello? No, I can't hear anyone. Dad, your phone is upside down. Hello? Yes, I'm listening. You're kidding me. The FBI just subpoenaed the laptop. Shh. He is? Great. Was that Adam's idea? Ah. Thanks, Nance. Yeah, 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 I'll be over there as soon as possible. <sighs> the repair shop guys at Trumpster, they're making it all about him. Great. They're gonna label it a Russian disinformation campaign. What again? They're gonna work. Well, they're already getting signatures from intelligence agencies. A little help from the media. I think we can destroy this little guy. 
me just sit back and watch it happen. Good. I've just been looking for an opportunity to focus on my art. What the hell are you talking about? Your art? I'm an artist, Dad. I'm getting gallery representation. What are you, painting nude pictures of yourself? No. You never take my ambition seriously like you did with Bo. Because Bo wanted to change the world. You want to finger paint. It's not finger painting. Yeah, I just I wish you were more like Bo. I wish you were more like Mom. You're a Biden. Act like one. Get the hell out. Do you sell these paintings of yours? Yes, if someone wants to buy them. Oh, we can find buyers. They'll pay a lot, if it can be kept private. For the love of God, stay out of sight. And under no circumstances, admit or deny ownership of that goddamn top lock. Can you do that for me? Yes, sir. I gotta go take care of this. I know. Son. You're the smartest man I know. Huh? Thanks, Dad. To the airport. Stop at the Dairy Queen. First. His favorite flavor, chocolate chip. CNN did an in-depth report on it. Oh, and one more thing. It's a little off topic, but Epstein didn't kill himself. Tom, could you get me a glass of warm milk, please? Yes, sir. about the laptop, wasn't it? So you didn't know who I am? No, only when I saw your dad in the SUV. How do you know about the laptop? While I'm sitting here, don't you think I'm going to jump on the internet? It's on the internet? Don't worry. It's only on right-wing propaganda sites. Nobody reads those. It's for conspiracy theorists and Russian disinformation. White supremacists. Do you believe them? Of course not. Nothing you or your father could ever do could be as bad as that. I'm here for you, Hunter. You can call me Aunt. Oh, 
Kitty. You're so different, Kitty. You're not like the others. What's your last name? Cat. <laughs> no, really. Mm, my real name is Grace Anderson. I never tell my clients that, so consider yourself special. I love you, Grace Anderson. <laughs> Can I give you something special? I do want to help you. I'm on your side. How can you help me? Well, my father, world's biggest asshole though he is, is nevertheless an attorney. <laughs> yeah, I got enough lawyers. That's not what I mean. He taught me how to answer questions and accusations in life without incriminating yourself. So, tell me what's on the laptop that they might leak and I can help you. Prepare for interviews or legal depositions. So what, you want to marry me but you don't trust me? That's not fair. It's totally fair. I entrusted myself to you. Don't you trust me? Okay. Here's the deal. I already discussed most of this with my father, but we got interrupted before I got to the difficult part. Okay, I will help you take the difficult part and turn it into the easiest part. What do you know about China? Well, actually, more than you think I would. Why are you some blonde Chinese spy or something? Hunter. I'm joking. My family worked as missionaries in China for 10 years. I actually have a lot of good friends still there. China is kind of a sticky topic for me and my dad. Okay, so let's pretend I'm your attorney. Tell me what facts they might leak about you and we'll come up with a narrative. And then we feed the narrative to the media. But the media are already on my side, except for fucking Fox. Well, the masses believe the story they hear the most. Well, the story that we have to change is that I am peddling my father's influence for money for our family. Someone told me that's illegal. Not necessarily. Trump and Fox think that he's compromised with our Chinese enemies. Hello? Trump's a 
Russian asset. Hello. Um, a hypocrite. Mr. Biden. Who let you in? Uh, well, we tried to call you, sir. I even knocked on the door, but you didn't do anything. I'm very sorry, but we have to ask you to leave today. What? We've been getting some complaints. Oh, it's fine. I'll, I'll pay, you know, make it good. What do you need? Uh, I actually don't really need money. By the way, your card was declined. What I would love is just... I got other cards. Try that one. There's a fucking card. Want another card? There's a card. Try that card. No, wait. That one is good, too. <clears throat> or him. Okay. That good? Try that one. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry. Don't forget your tip. Have a nice day. It wasn't his fault. I got other braces. <sighs> Come on, Grace Anderson. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, let me just take you back to the beginning. In 2010, my dad was vice president to Obama. And that's when we realized that China was a financial sleeping dragon. So when my dad flew over to meet the president, I went with him to meet prominent business officials. Between 2010 and 2013, I met the most powerful men in China. It was like meeting the heads of J.P. Morgan, Merrill Lynch, Goldman Sachs. He said they were all communists. In fact, none of the heads of those American financial institutions would have got in the room with these guys. And I got no experience whatsoever. So why would they want to meet with you then? I do have a superpower. Mm. Dad? Daddy! This is Mr. Jonathan Lee, vice president of Bohai Capital, a private equity firm. We're creating a new company with him. Mr. Lee, this is vice president, my father, vice president Joe Biden, vice president of the United States, my father. Harvest RST. The deal in one billion in investments ten days after meeting with the big guy. Then Bohai Harvest became a nuclear power company that was stealing U.S. nuclear secrets. Then we signed a deal with a company tied to the Chinese Navy. Then we signed with a company that was stealing U.S. tech to build fighter jets. Then we teamed up with a company that was trying to take control of the world market of rare earth materials with military applications. Of course, I knew nothing of their crimes. But all your business deals are legal, right? Technically, on, on paper. So what's on the laptop that's not on paper? CEFC is China's largest private oil company. They've been snapping up oil fields across the world. Now they're looking to get into Central Europe. Private oil company? That means it's not communist, right? Yeah, well, the chairman is uh, close with the Communist Party. Does that make it like communism light? Yeah, sure. Welcome, Mr. Biden, son of Vice President Biden. We look forward to working with you and hope to hear much about your father and his interests. 
Will do, comrades. After this trip, I met with Ye again. Mr. Biden, son of Vice President Biden, welcome. Please, do you like birds? My fetish. I love them. They all have names. You and I would be 50-50 partners with a holding company. It can make you $10 million a year for you and your family. I can help make that happen. Mm. But here's the deal. Remuneration will need to be split six ways. Mm. I'll hold 10% for the big guy. Big guy? You mean vice president? No, come on, man. The big guy. Ah, big guy, huh? to a lasting, long, and lucrative relationship. I'm having a difficult time getting my daughter into a certain exclusive Manhattan private school. Well, that, my dear chairman, is a Biden family speciality. I will take care of it. I am a bit concerned about US federal authorities looking into one of my associates. His name is Patrick Ho. He's a good man. I'm a lawyer. I'll represent him. Wonderful. Patrick Hall will wire you $5 million for consulting fees. I trust that will be acceptable. It's a little light, but acceptable. You've been so gracious. I have a gift for you. It is our custom. My way of saying thank you. Wow, that's a biggie. How many carrots? 3.16. What's that, $40,000? $80,000. Thank you. I believe it'll look wonderful on your wife. Sadly, we're getting divorced, so... For the sake of the settlement, let's just say it's $10,000. <laughs> ah, please forgive me, there is one more thing. Let us call them your expense account. The credit line has over $100,000 on it. There is one card for you, one card for your uncle partner, and one for his wife. You're a very gracious man yourself. <laughs> Technically, he sent the diamond to my room and then gave me the cards in his $10 million New York penthouse, but you get the point. I didn't know you are a criminal lawyer. I'm not. So, whatever happened to that Patrick Ho guy you were supposed to lawyer for? Ye's colleague? Yeah, him. He was a fucking spy chief of China. He's in custody. Mr. Fucking Spy Chief calls my fucking uncle looking for me. Well, weren't you his lawyer? What? No, I wasn't his lawyer. I had no idea about his crimes either. And where did you go? He was detained by the government. He vanished, never seen again, disappeared. What about the other companies you made deals with? They were all tied to the Communist Party? Well, it's China, man. Every company that makes money is controlled by the party. And what about the other companies you mentioned had military applications? You mean like weapons? Yeah. You mean like weapons that could be used against America? We're not at war with China, man. China's not our enemy. Come on, man. They're not bad folks, folks. 
It's a positive development. What are we worried about? And what about the nuclear company you told me about? China General Nuclear. Yeah, one of their senior advisors, Alan Ho, he did make some deals that were outside of the box. FBI! Go, go! But did they at least catch him before he could get too many secrets? Well, he'd been doing it for 20, almost 20 years. Shit, Hunter. <laughs> Come on, man. You're supposed to be helping me with the narrative, not grilling me. I am. I didn't know what he'd done. But did your company divest from CEFC when it all came out? Well, I resigned from Bohai Harvest, which is a company that links all this stuff together. Doesn't that say something? Did you sell your shares? Did Christopher Hines. Who's Christopher Hines? John Kerry's son, the uh, ketchup guys. Look, me, him, and Devon were in business together. Oh, shit, that doesn't look good, does it? Are there any other communist-controlled companies that you haven't mentioned? <sighs> um, Face Plus Plus. Uh, state-of-the-art facial recognition technology. I mean, talk about tech advancement, man. The U.S. would be stealing that shit off China. <sighs> what? What is it? What'd I say? That's surveillance technology, Hunter. That's something I know about. Ah, so you are a Chinese spy. <laughs> I told you my parents were missionaries to China. There are tens of millions of closed-circuit cameras all throughout China. They helped sponsor some families to get asylum in the U.S. Yeah, but it, I, I thought they only used it to catch criminals. That's not the only reason. That's how they control their citizens. And if you don't agree with the Communist Party, then you're defined as a criminal. Face Plus Plus has been used to hunt down Muslims and force them into concentration camps. There's over two million political prisoners. They separate the children from their parents and brainwash them with communism. They teach them to hate their families and religion. The CCP calls it de-radicalization of extremists and terrorism. You shared your life with me. Now I'm going to share my life with you. This is Ming Yu. I call her my aunt. She was like family when we were out there. Do you see her much? No. I'll show you why. This is the concentration camps. See these three children in the picture? Those are main use children. Being indoctrinated. Being taught to love President Xi and hate their mother. There's also live organ harvesting of religious and political prisoners. And the women, they get extra special treatment here. Like Ming Yu, she took these secret pictures of the camp. These are women waiting in line for forced abortions and sterilizations. I don't have any more pictures of Ming Yu. After she took the photos, she was raped and she disappeared. We haven't heard from her in months. She's probably dead. This is genocide, Hunter. Real genocide. I want to help you. I really do. I don't believe you would continue to work with people like that if you knew what they did to women and children. You didn't know, did you?
If you knew, then all of this was on your laptop. You hope the laptop will take down everybody with you, including your father. You don't love him. You hate him. You want revenge. No, Grace, I would never do that. <coughs> you had everything, Hunter. Everything. And you threw it all away. I lost my name, Chuck it! Focus on my art. I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay out of the way. Yeah, no, I, I I'm not gonna confirm, deny any of the, of the, my laptop. No, no, I'm not on drugs, Dad. It's great. It's like Bo's watching down over us. I love you, Dad. Dad. What happened? The Trump has just been officially impeached by the House of Representatives for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Obstruction of Congress? What does that even mean? Uh, who cares? All the attention is off me. <laughs> it's gonna be wall to wall, orange man bad. Go get the big black guy and get on your dancing shoes. <laughs> he wants you. Where are you going? I'm done, Tyrone. Wait a minute. this handy recorder I use this for protection in the club I record everything just in case yes sir suspects. Where's Kitty? Gone. Bring her back. I know I have. 
haven't spoken to you in a long time, and what I'm going to ask you will sound strange. Ask me anything, sweetheart. What would you do as a prosecutor if you had evidence that hurt your own side of the case? I would release it because it's a rule of discovery. If I didn't, and it was discovered later that I suppressed the information, my entire case would be overturned. And I would be disbarred. And what if you knew it would never be discovered if you didn't release it? I would do it. Because if I didn't, I couldn't live with myself. If I hid the truth in order to protect my belief, then I'd be living a lie. Dad, I'll call you back soon. Is that okay? Of course we're not. Thanks, Dad. Hello? Kitty, it's Lorenzo. I have some good news. You've been quite a hit with the clients. They want to pay off all of your college debt and put you on retainer for two years. Uh-huh. And what would they expect from me? Cooperation. I see. Well, tell them thank you very much, but I politely decline. Hold on, honey, it's work. This isn't a good time to talk. I'll make it quick. Are you still writing for the post? Freelancing, yeah, but they like my work. Okay, well, you probably won't believe me, but I have a story for you. That's so big, it will change your career. Really? Well, what is it? But we have to meet in person, as soon as possible. Okay, I'll text you. Exactly where and when. Okay. Bye. Hunter Biden's business deals. Hunter Biden? Uh, he was working for companies in China and Ukraine while his father was vice president in the White House. I should tell you a lot. What else? Well, there's nothing illegal about that. Is this the story you told me you had? What do you know about his laptop? Grace, just tell me what you've got. Hunter's been using his father's name to make deals with foreign government-connected businesses. Joe gets a percentage cut of the deals, and he influences foreign policy decisions in favor of those companies and governments. This could take down the entire Biden campaign, and even lead back to President Obama. I have Hunter Biden's admission on tape. The laptop has it all. The FBI doesn't want to do anything about it. Grace, you should be ashamed of yourself recording a vulnerable addict. Besides, it could be illegal. Are you a Trump supporter? What? No. I despise the man. Look. Even if what you're saying is true, it's not news. We have the chance to take down a fascist dictator. 
You think any news org is going to want to touch you with Russian disinformation? <laughs> Maybe the shitty New York Post will publish the story. But do you really think that Twitter, Facebook, Google are going to not ban it outright with their algorithms? I'm sorry, Grace. This one's not for me. Rudy Giuliani has released a recording of Hunter Biden telling all and has forced the hand of the FBI. News organizations that previously were suppressing or ignoring the story of Hunter Biden's laptop are now uncovering some disturbing discoveries. Not only private pornographic pictures, but emails that may incriminate the Bidens as a crime family. And in other news, bad news for the Bidens. Hunter Biden, son of former Vice President Joe Biden, was arrested today by the FBI on multiple charges. FBI, don't move! Why me? The numbers do not lie. President Donald Trump has won re-election by a landslide. Yes! In the end, I realized the truth coming out was just a dream. Just a fantasy of truth and justice in a real world of lies and corruption. Will those in power ever be held accountable for their crimes? Will the news media ever again care about facts and truth? I guess that's what fairy tale endings are for. To show us what should have been, what could be, if only we change and do something. Maybe in the end, the truth itself has become the fairy tale. Emails about his business dealings, described by many intelligence experts as having hallmarks of a foreign disinformation campaign. And has all the hallmarks of a Russian disinformation campaign. They are part of a Russian uh, disinformation uh, effort. To show business dealings of Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, are connected to a Russian disinformation campaign. Was the target of a Russian influence campaign aimed at discrediting Biden. Giuliani is feeding Russian misinformation to Donald Trump. The New York Post published a story filled with unsubstantiated claims and fed by Rudy Giuliani about emails found on a laptop in Delaware that may or may not belong to Hunter Biden. Russian disinformation effort. They're being used by the Russians and by people connected uh, to the Russians in Ukraine to try to traffic in some of these uh, hmm. conspiracies. But the contents of what may be potentially a foreign intelligence operation in this campaign. And an active attack in the form of Russian disinformation. This looks like your classic disinformation campaign. Who do you think is behind this? 
Well, the Russians would be my number one guess. Off of the unverified contents of a mysterious laptop that somehow Rudy Giuliani got his hands on that some officials worry is tied to a Russian intelligence op. DNA test released today confirms presidential candidate Joe Biden's son is the biological father of an Arkansas woman's child. I mean, I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, not they're competition for us. And uh, so I got Ukraine, and uh, I went over. I guess the. 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to the press conference, said, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority, you're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, we're leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. 